Hello you guys, I'm Mr. Gaming here back with another video and uh, today, uh, today is the second part of the Ultimate Command Block Tour 3.0 series and today is server commands. So basically commands that are only useful in servers that you can use in servers and that is also the reason that I am going to press these buttons but they're not going to do anything because I am not in a server right now. I don't have a server set up but I am going to show you the commands and tell you what they do if you don't own a server or anything like that. These might not be as useful and you might not need to watch this part but if you want to you are always free to do so. So we're going to start off with slash ban. One that I think everybody knows. Uh, you basically just need to do slash ban and then the player. Now I do have slash in the command block here, command blocks here, and I don't have that in the other tutorials because these are server commands, and you can execute them from chat mostly. You can execute them from command blocks. I think I'm not sure, not too much on the server stuff. So yeah, just ban and then the name of the player you want to ban. Also, you can ban an IP, so you, you can just also do the same thing, but then with ban IP, and we'll ban the entire IP, so no, nobody from that computer will be able to access the server um, from the IP, so there's that. Then there's ban list, which basically the, the place uh, displays to you uh, which people you've banned, so just a li list of the people you've banned. Then there's debug which will start a debug which I guess is handy if you're lagging or having any problems like that and all that stuff. Next is deop. Um, I don't know why I've got deop first. But yeah you can OP people as you might already know. And that will basically just give them rights to edit things in the world or to execute these commands in the first place. And with slash deop and then the player name you can take away that OP from a person. Slash kick is basically just it will kick a player from the server so they will be uh, they will go out of the server they can come back but yeah that's what kick is for so it's basically a ban but they can rejoin the server again after that and uh, then there's slash list slash list will basically just list off all the players in the server uh, so that one's pretty useful then there's slash me slash me will basically what it will do as you can see here it's gonna ask all kinds of things. For some reason it needs something there so sl this one does actually work here and then just type anything behind it just says your username and then that behind it so you can make fake death messages like this um it doesn't look quite like it looks when you actually die but it's pretty believable pretty funny and then there's slash publish based the publisher your server to open it i think and all that stuff so yeah um, by the way, these commands, I think, can all be executed from the server log also. And then there's save all, which will basically just save your world. Uh, save off, which will turn off the auto save it has standardly to just sometimes save your world. And this is save on, so that when you use save off, you can turn it back on. And then there's set idle timeout, and then, well, slash set idle timeout, well... I don't actually think tab completion doesn't actually work with these so set idle timeout and then the uh, time you want because then when people are afk they don't just stay afk for really long and fill up your server without even being there and then there's slash, wi slash whitelist and then the player name so that you can add players to a whitelist of people that can join and if you actually turn whitelist on uh, in your server only the people on the whitelist can join so those are the serve commands really short episode really easy and uh yeah i'll see you in the next one which is the slash game rule command